morning. Hello, everybody. This is Crispy Bacon, the greatest way to start off your game of morning. I'm coming back to you guys after almost a year-long hiatus, and you know what? It is good to be back. Now today, I plan on restarting a series that you guys seem to enjoy the most, the Bistro Recipe Saga. Now, the reason I say restarting instead of continuing is for two reasons. The first, I lost all the data I had on my original save file, and now I have to start back from the beginning. Second, I really like to uh, give this a whole fresh new thing for all the people who are first time watchers now. I think uh, watching it in the beginning, where I, but this time actually knowing what I'm gonna do, will be a nice little thing to uh, really help people out. So without further ado, let's get cooking. Puns. Ha! Alright, so since this is obviously a Japanese game, I'm gonna have to tell you guys the story myself. Once upon a time, there was a king who was undecided between two dishes, the roasted duck or the tofu surprise. He told his chefs he wanted to eat the one that was the strongest, but no chef knew what he meant. Well, all but one, who claimed he knew exactly what the king wanted to know. By using a magical card, he placed it over both dishes. And as a result, the dishes both came to life. The dishes then began to fight violently. And with that, the king had known which is the strongest dish of the two. This is sort of the origin of what would essentially become Battle Chefs. This is what the whole point of this game is for all you first time viewers. You are making recipes and placing these magical cards on them to bring them to life and have them battle other chefs. I wish uh, cooking was that easy in real life. Or, you know, entertaining. Imagine Gordon Ramsay's if he was one of these guys. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> oh, the thought of him just screaming. Wait, <laughs> As he's charging into combat with an army of these things. That is a wonderful magical thought. And Paula Deen. Pretty sure everything just be sticks of butter. Butter. Alright, so this guy is sort of your little mentor in the game. He's gonna show me how to do everything. Except, I'm the better mentor, because I know what I'm saying, and you guys know what I'm saying, but neither of us know what he is saying. So essentially, the game takes place in a big overmap world like this. We're gonna go down to our first location, which is uh, this little place here. As you can see, there's a few places for us to stop, and our goal is to get to this place right up here, where the boss will be. However, we have to make stops at all these places before. And so we're going to battle our first guy right here. Now, this game is a lot like Pokemon. Food all has types, though. It's a little more complicated to learn. That is Ricer. He is a, a rice type, obviously. And this is Omelette, an egg type. Now, obviously, from knowing this, you just look at eggs and rice and you know, okay, eggs are obviously super effective against rice. It's common sense, isn't it? You look at all that damage. Super effective. That's not very effective on me. Now, sort of like the little starter trio here, the best way I think can think to describe it, and the main types we will be dealing with in this first part of the game, is eggs, rice, and soup. 
Alright, so he just gave us a recipe. We're gonna go and cook that right now so you guys can see what that is like. Alright. So let's skip through what this guy has to say, because like I said, I can't read it, neither can you. Oh, and uh, something else I'm gonna say, this is our little storage guy. Essentially, um, you can only have so many food in your party. This is the guy you go to if you need to get rid of it. some. Essentially, the PC box. Alright, now let's see if I can't remember how to make food. It's been quite some time. You know what, guys? Give me one second. Alright, guys, I am back, and I remembered... Then I have a start button. Alright, so this is our recipe book. As you can see, we have three recipes in here right now, and the rest all needs to be unlocked. So we have omelet right here, fried rice, and fried egg. Now obviously we already have an egg type, so I might show you guys what that looks like later, but for now, we want to get a rice type on our team since we're going to be dealing with soups kind of soon. And here, you choose what ingredients you want to uh, season this with. Right now, all we have is salt. But that'll be good enough. And that brings us to a minigame. Essentially, the uh, better you do at the minigame, the higher level your Fudon's gonna start off with. I think the max level being... 4, or at least that's as high as I've ever gotten. This minigame... The idea is just to stop these from burning as fast as I can. And so, yeah, it's quite simple. Of course, if you fail at these games, you unlock a new recipe for the uh, worst food on in the game. Oh no, oh no, come on. I should stop watching. Stop, stop, stop. Stand back. Yes, sir. Stand back. Stand back. Yes, sir. There's cooking and there's bonfire. Stand back. Okay, that's not bad. I think. I needed 20 to win this, so I did a little bit better than I needed to. I can name it, but it doesn't matter because I can't read what that says. And there's our new guy, a fried ricer. See? It says OP. That means he's going to be strong. And I did pretty well. He is a level 3 starting off, which means he is the strongest person on our team. Because I believe Omelette's only level 1. Alright, we have a new person coming to fight us now. Oh, and they have a dumpling. Alright, that's actually a different type in the game, dumpling. But you know what? I can't remember off the top of my head what dumplings are strong against. I have an entire graph saved on my computer, but I'm gonna have to pull that up later. So right now we're just going to see what works. Now, battles work a little bit differently in this game. Alright, it looks like Dumpling is super effective against Rice, but you know what? It's okay, we are at a high enough level where it's not going to hurt us all too much. We do more damage than they can to us. That's all that matters, that I am the strongest. Yes, but, um, <clears throat> battles work a little bit differently, like I said. As you see, I get one little food icon right in the corner there. Because, uh, battles are decided by courses. It does not matter how many guys I have on my team. It, uh, all depends on what course battle we're doing. You can have a one-star, a three-star, or a five-star battle, and that will determine how many people you can use in the fights. Right, we're gonna cross the bridge. And this guy wants ketchup. He'll trade you an item for ketchup, but you know what? We don't have that right now. And this is the shop, where I can buy more food. And you know what? We got a little bit of money. I remember something that happened later in the game that was always a problem. We would have more f uh, money than we knew what to do with. So you know what? Let's just go and buy a little bit of everything right now. I might give me a chance to show you guys 
Nope, nope. You just want more ketchup. I don't got it. Just because I'm American doesn't mean I put ketchup on everything. Just most things. Alright, so now we're gonna fight this guy. You know, before we fight the boss, it might be nice just to grab a few quick levels. There's a button to speed up somewhere. But darn it if I remember what it is, that's gonna be something I need to look into for the next video. Speaking of which, I'm probably going to be needing to end this soon, but you know what? I think, uh... uh Let's see, maybe next battle I can show you guys how power toppings work. Because that's going to be an important thing that I completely neglected last time. A dumpling. Level 1 again. So let's send it around. We're going to see if eggs are super effective against dumplings. I do a fair amount of damage, let's see how much they do to us. That didn't do much. Maybe the shaking means it's not very effective. Oh, you know what? No, I can't use power toppings because I haven't been taught about them yet. Alright, that's gonna have to wait for a future video, but essentially, um, I'll explain it to you guys really quick now then. Oh, I leveled up. And my Blute. Alright, but essentially, what a Power Topping is, is, um, essentially just the same food you use to make the actual ingredients themselves. I said that backwards. It's the ingredients you use to make the food itself. And all you really need to do is, uh, throw it at either you or your opponent, and depending on what kind of food it is, it is, uh, going to give you some sort of positive or negative effect. You know what? We are winding down, and I have a little bit more grinding to do, so that is all the time I have for today. Until next time, guys, stay crispy. Now behold, the Fudon embodiment of all evil, the dark demon Fudon, Devouron! <laughs>